What's up guys, this is John from Heavy Set Tactical. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about a really cool new knife that I've been enjoying quite a bit. Uh, and also, you know, I wanted to go over some, some brief specs and just tell you guys what I think about it. Uh, this is my first front flipper, so I'm still getting used to it a little bit. It's pretty cool though. I like the action on this knife. You can also, you know, whatever that's called, spidey flick it. Or you can, what I choose to do, I like to have a little more control with my knives, so I usually go with the thumb or just ride up in this channel here and it automatically just runs the whole way up. So, I have a new really cool mat. I always wanted to get a mat to shoot on that has all the, uh, you know, the measurements so I can show you guys more of an accurate depiction of sizes. Uh, instead of just showing you with my hands and kind of talking about specs, I could show you on this board a little better. But today, this is more or less just a tabletop review. This is the uh, Vero Axon. And I actually have a thing right here with the specs of the knife. Sorry, I had my alarm going off. I had to just turn it off. Okay, so real quick comes in this awesome pouch um, I do have some Timascus backspacers and a belt clip for it uh, so I'm gonna have to put those on most of them come so they come in a Vero engineering pouch because the company is Vero engineering and this is the Vero axon frame lock so a uh, they always come with one of these cards this is a second production run Joseph Vero is the designer, and it's in M390 blade steel, a uh, belt satin finish, and this is the raw configuration of black end cut carbon fiber. So what's really cool, guys, about these knives, on carbon fiber, this end here is what you'll normally see, you know, those kind of reflective squares. And this is actually the ending, the end cuts of carbon fiber. So this would normally be here, and this would normally, this print would normally be showing. So they do kind of a reverse cut carbon fiber, which just gives it a really awesome look to it. Um, it gives it a very kind of like stone-like look, and it's it's pretty nice and um, uh, you know nice and light actually. So uh, the only thing I have for a size pin comparison right now is my Benchmade. Um, you know, I'm, I'm doing this at home. And I apologize if there's a little bit of wiggling of the, the camera configuration because, let's be honest, I live in an old, all wooden house, hardwood floors. So everything uh, rocks a little bit, you know, and I'm a big guy. So my me moving around causes some uh, uh, other things to rock a little bit. So it's a, it's slightly bigger and actually in my hand it's it's pretty it's actually significantly bigger of a profile than the benchmade bug out um, now this is them closed and you can kind of see a little bit of the size comparison there it's, it's quite a bit thicker uh, but it you know I, I really you guys know I don't review a lot of uh, a lot of knives uh, folding knives. I am a fixed blade channel and I mostly use hard use, do hard use fixed blades that I enjoy. And what's really cool about this knife is I've had it in my pocket for a few days since my buddy Damon sent it to me. He's in one of my Facebook groups and he sold me this knife. Um, so uh, the Vero Axons come with like titanium scales and DLC black blade with tita black titanium. Uh, regular, you know, gray titanium, titanium. <laughs> um, this has t t titanium liner lock in it. Um, and I believe this is titanium as well. But the, more or less, the, the configuration of this knife, in my pocket, it is so light, but so big and functional with zero rattle, zero give, no, no blade play. Um, it's such a solid knife, guys, and it's such a slicer, and it really feels good in your hand. It's got this big, long handle, and there is this kind of, uh, like, choil, choil here almost, this indentation where you can get to the liner lock, 
which goes the whole way through. But I don't, I don't, sometimes if I'm holding it in like a hammer grip, I'll put my finger just before that and use it as like a finger guard. But then you can come up onto this flat surface right here and, and lock up like this if you're cutting in a manner, you know, kind of choked up on it or using it to carve. Uh, yeah, this is a, the blade profile, I guess you would call it a, like a reverse sheep's foot kind of, um, you know, there's so much to the EDC world right now and so much to the folding knife collective game. And to be honest with you guys, I'm not really as much into that. You know me, I'm a woodsman. I like stuff I can actually use, but I have, you know, now that I'm more into the knife, knife stuff, let me just grab a piece of paper. Now that I'm more into the knife, uh, the knife collecting in general, I do have um, some interesting th things I'm learning about, f you know, folding knives and, and the EDC world. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys, I used my, t my uh, KME sharpening system and I didn't put a mirror edge on it yet. Oh my God, leave me alone. I didn't put a, a mirror edge on it. I just put a really nice, uh, about 18, 18 and a half degree bevel on the end there, uh, edge on the end, end of this blade. And I just want you guys to see how slicey this thing is. You ready for this? This thing is, I literally said to my dad the other day, this thing is a lightsaber, dude. It is so ridiculously sharp. There's no there's no restraint of it going through paper. It is so ridiculously sharp. So I just wanted to show you guys briefly, you know, the it's it's cutting ability, the cutting edge is so crazy on this. It's got this really thin profile, the grind you know, those are just marks from me wiping it off on my shirt. They're not, it's not actually scratched. But this point gives you this really cool, like really, really kind of deliberate point here. And, and it's really great if you wanted to choke up on it and use it for cutting like this. Look at that. I'm not, this is the weight of the knife. And it's going straight, straight through this paper. It's just crazy. You can get... You know, I was really careful when you're sharpening these types of like, it's kind of like a, uh, like a reverse tanto, like a sheep's foot. I think I said reverse sheep's foot by accident earlier, but it's kind of like a sheep's foot in that. Um, and I wish I had my Kaiser sheep's foot to show you, but in that the fact that right here on the tip, you have to be sure when you're sharpening it to not round that tip off because that tip is so excellent for being able to make these precise cuts and it's it has so much power like obviously not I'm not displaying the power cutting paper I'm going to do a video because I want to see how much this can actually put up with but in this configuration right from being from holding a knife in back in the rear on the handle you have so much power on that tip for putting it downward you know in a downward motion to make a cut that tip is so ridiculously sharp. I mean, it's just ridiculously sharp. It's like a razor blade. Uh, and I'm, re I'm really fond of it. You know, I'm not into a lot of the flashy knives. Uh, you know, my buddy Damon hooked me up with this off of my Facebook group, uh, Caveman, uh, Caveman EDC. I'm a part of that Facebook group. Uh, so let's talk specs real fast. I usually I start with the specs, but you can get these in a number of... of the, the the dropping base price of an Axon frame lock is two hundred and ninety five dollars. Then there's five different blade options, three different titanium handle options, uh, uh, and and then they have other options for the end cut. Um, what's that called? This is the slightly cheaper. These are like two fifty, and then you add additions to them. So they kind of give you a drop base price of the knife, and then you have to kind of click more expensive versions of it if you want them so this is the uh as i said earlier this is the 
um, M390. I think all of their knives are M390, but this is the M390 belt satin raw configuration. Uh, they have like a black DLC or a, a black wash blade. Um, so this is the raw uh, version. So overall, the, spe the specifications for size, the overall length let me let me put it on my board here. Okay, so uh, we can see here. I'm gonna slide this up, guys. So the overall length is exactly eight inches, and you can see from tip of the blade to the hilt here, it's exactly eight inches. So the blade is three and a half inches, and the handle is five and a half. So let me put that down. I'm sorry, four and a half. <laughs> so the the you got a three and a half inch blade, three and a quarter inch cutting edge, eight inches overall, four and a half inch uh, handle. So that's you know the specifications. Now the um, the blade steel Bowler M390. The blade thickness is 0 0.12 or three millimeters. Um, the uh, the cutting edge, it, like I said, is about three and a quarter, and the weight of this one. So they have the the overall specifications. Weight is two point seven ounces or seventy six grams. This one is a different type than what I'm looking at online, which is actually strange. Let me see if they have um, Vero. Sorry guys, I never do this, but Vero Axon and cut. Okay, so yeah, length eight inches, weight three point eight ounces. Okay, so that feels right when it comes to this folder. Uh, I had up the titanium page on Vero Engineering's website. So the company is Vero Engineering, and they have a really great reputation for some high-end folding knives. All of their folding knives are this configuration, same handle, and this is their full size. They're eight inch. A lot of their other ones are like six and a half. They all use M390. They all have these really awesome machined, uh, very eccentric kind of things, pieces to them. Uh, and they're a little bit of a, of a guff to get back together. I did scrape that nut up a little bit, so I got some new, some new, a new configuration. You can go online and buy pieces to all these, any kind of pieces you need. So it's, it's really accessible and, and awesome. I emailed them and told them that I needed what's called a barrel so that the housing in there for these each of these sides of screws to pins to get screw into so I needed a barrel and screw set and they didn't have any on their website I emailed the company and literally 35 minutes later I got an email back saying that they are putting some on the website so I can get them uh, and if I needed any more help after that to just send the knife in so they have a really great customer service uh, so the I'm I'm reading a different so the blade thickness on this one is not point zero point one two. The blade thickness on this one is zero point one three five because it is the large edition. And you can see it says Vero, all their blades are numbered. This is number seven ten. So this is that M three ninety with the belt belt uh satin finish and it's zero point one three inches. One three five inches, so almost point one four. Um, and it is a sheep's foot, but I think it's just a slightly modified sheep's foot because um, it's not as straight. It has a very subtle curve in it, which gives you that slicey body. It's just crazy. I mean, it's it's such a cutter. Breaking down boxes, opening packages, things like that, this is going to be great for. Now, I am going to see if I can slide it into a slightly more, uh, you know, kind of exonerated role of doing like outdoor tasks with it a little bit because I think it'd be a good like overall hard use folder um, I've been really enjoying it and it's really comfortable in hand it's got that nice big blade you know if you're going to choke up and had to carve some some things out and I think that you know you have all this tip strength from it being a sheep's foot as opposed to having the sweeping belly they also do have regular like drop point configurations but I thought this was such a cool and kind of different knife I wanted to show you guys online so again sorry about the wrong couple wrong specs eight inches overall 3.8 ounces 
3.4 inch blade, three and a quarter cutting inch, or cutting edge, three and a quarter inch cutting edge. Uh, blade thickness is 0 0.135 inches. The blade material is M390. It's a sheep's foot and a flat grind. Huge high flat grind. And the grind lines on the tip there are great. I wish I would have cleaned this blade up a little bit before doing this. But anyway, it's just really nice. You, you know, the, the, the um, detents in it aren't hard. So you can open it with your thumb on top, across the top there. You know, or, or open it by spidey flicking it, which I'm not a big fan of. Because then you kind of have to reconfigure how you're holding it. I, I always just, with most of my knives, I'm very practical. I come up with the thumb. Just give it a flick. So... Again, great knife, great company, great customer service. Thought it was really cool, so I wanted to hop on real quick and give you guys just a real quick tabletop review. And the M390, I'm telling you, man, this thing has a lot of potential. No rattle. It's real, just real sturdy, man. What a sturdy blade. Uh, you know, and, and it doesn't look as threatening. That's why I like it. It's very smooth and futuristic looking, but it doesn't look like some crazy modified murder weapon you know it's very non-threatening with the sheep's foot that's why i do like sheep's foot in part now um you know me i like a good a good knife that's used uh, for tactical stuff but this is a functional um you know like maintenance kind of knife that's just excellent so again you're going to end up paying about 300 bucks for this um you know that's Unfortunate, they are expensive, um, but they're really worth the money. Uh, you know, I, I I would put my stamp of approval on them. I think they're like two eighty five, two ninety. After the, you get the couple little selection upgrades, and I do have the Timascus uh, hardware for it. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching my channel. I'm gonna get a little more consistent with the videos and a little more consistent with the quality. Uh, I just ordered some more camera stuff, and it's going to be here this week so thanks again guys for watching my channel and like always guys stay safe and stay heavy